Hey guys, this is Doug from TechHog.com, and today I have with me the Nokia Lumia 710, which is a Windows device on T-Mobile. Um, I will be unboxing it and doing a brief walkthrough of the Nokia apps and what comes pre-installed with this, so make sure you stick around. This is the Nokia Lumia 710 from T-Mobile, like I said before. Um, it is a Windows uh, Seven device, Windows 7.5, um, running a uh, 1.4 gigahertz Qualcomm processor with only 512 megabytes of RAM, which is fine for Windows Phone. Um, it has a 3.7 inch display, uh, which is 480 by 800. Uh, has the three physical buttons on the bottom, and it's also sporting this beautiful case by Nokia. Their cases are just as beautiful as their devices. So let's see, primary features of the device, it's 4G capable, this is 4G HSPA+, Plus, not 4G LTE or any of that baloney. Um, this is running Windows 7.5, like I said, 3.7 inch high resolution touchscreen, which the touchscreen is also Corning Gorilla Glass, so that's a plus. Uh, we have a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash, and a 1.4 gigahertz Qualcomm processor. What's inside the box, you have the Nokia Lumia 710, battery and charger, a SIM card, start guide, and terms and conditions. Uh, this version, or, well, this, yeah, I guess version of the Lumia, the Lumia 710, does not come with a case like the Lumia 800 does. So, I guess that's a little downside, but it is a, uh, it is a, I guess you can call it entry-level uh, smartphone. So, let's take a look and see what's inside this box. Let's pry it open. So in here we have absolutely nothing, just cardboard and worthless for what we need. Um, and here we have the Lumia device, which is actually very nice. Uh, feels feels nice in the hand actually. Um, it's uh, bezeled edges and uh, it has some weight to it. So I mean, you're not gonna feel like uh, the device is gonna fall apart in your hands or something like that. Um, and here we have the start guide, as you could see. But that's not the only thing in here. We have the Nokia Lumia 710 Start Guide, Terms and Conditions, Return Policy, Limited Warranties, Product and Safety Information from Nokia, and then here's T-Mobile Handset Recycling Program. If you'd ever need to recycle this device or want to recycle the device, um, that comes uh, in the box as well. We have the USB to micro USB charging cord slash um, media cable. And then here we have the AC... Uh, adapter uh, for wall charging. So that's pretty much all inside the box. Let's take a look at the device itself. Now the Nokia Lumia 710 is the baby, as you can call it, of the Nokia Lumia line. Um, let's first power this on. There we go. Um, like I said, it's a baby. It's not a um, you know very fast processor or one of the high-end devices, but it is running Windows 7.5 and it runs it very well. Um, there is no front-facing camera, which is a little disappointing, but for an entry-level device, um, you really don't need a front-facing camera. On the bottom are three, co uh, not capacitive, three physical buttons, a back button, the Windows Home button, and then a search button. On the top of the device, we have a micro USB uh, charging port. We have the 3.5mm uh, headphone jack and the power button. On the left side, there's absolutely nothing except for a nail hole for um, taking off the back uh, battery plate. The bottom has a lanyard hole for um, if you want to attach a lanyard to it like you would a point-and-shoot camera. And on the right-hand side, we have the volume rocker switch, volume up, volume down, and a um, camera, dedicated camera button. On the back, we have a 5-megapixel camera with an LED flash, the Nokia name branding, and a speaker grill on the bottom with Nokia 710. So the uh, operating system started, so let's get started. Accept, recommended, Eastern Time, not now. Installing apps. Awesome. Do 
Um, so let's, I guess, continue going, going over the specs of the device. Um, it comes preloaded with 8 gigs of memory, uh, and there's no way to expand that. There's no uh, micro, U, uh, micro SD card slot. Uh, but there is cloud storage uh, using the SkyDrive on Windows 7 devices. Uh, it does come with Corning Gorilla Glass, like I explained before, and that's a very, 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 very thumbs up good thing. Um, not many devices have Corning Gorilla Glass, so you're starting to get scratches on them. Uh, however, the devices that do have Corning Gorilla Glass um, are probably one of my favorites. I love a screen naked with no screen protector on it. And I can't do that unless there's Corning Gorilla Glass. Well, I mean, I can, but there'll be scratches. Size-wise, um, comparing it to an iPhone 3G, um, size pretty well, actually. Um, it's a little bit thicker, I would say. But uh, size-wise, the same size as the uh, iPhone 3G physically. The screen, of course, is 0.2 inches larger. Come on, install these apps. Here we go. Yay, almost done. Oh god, now what? Thank you for choosing Nokia, but continue to register your warranty, accept Nokia service and policies. Okay, that's great. Accept. Later. Okay, so here we are. We're inside. Oh, okay, cool. We're inside the uh, Nokia Lumia 710, and uh, as you can see, it's very fluid. The 1.4 gigahertz Qualcomm processor is actually running the operating system fairly well. And don't think of this as a low-end device too much because 1.4 gigahertz Qualcomm processor is uh, almost about the same processing speed. As uh, actually, it is the same processing speed as the higher end Windows phones like uh, the HTC Titan and stuff like that. Um, let's check out the apps preloaded. We have uh, app highlights, uh, contact transfers, ESPN, of course, Xbox Live games, with com which comes with every uh, Windows phone, help and how to. Uh, we have maps, of course. Uh, we have my account, which is a Nokia thing. We have Netflix, Nokia Drive, uh, Microsoft Office, which is wonderful. We have Slacker Radio, Telnav GPS Navigation, and T-Mobile TV, plus Nokia's We Care. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the um, messaging for a second. Um, so as you see, you have the uh, threads like you usually would have for messaging. Um, oh, it's a read-only message. Okay, so we're going to create a new message. The screen um, is small and the keyboard is kind of jam-packed for my huge thumbs. However, um, it actually probably won't be that bad because Windows Phone has wonderful keyboards from my experience. So we're going to do the um, quick round fox went to the store. The quick brown fox went to the store. Awesome, quick brown fox. Um, let's try transitions. Transitions are very smooth. Uh, landscape keyboard. Uh, as though this is small, uh, so is this. However, it's larger for people with big thumbs, so you don't have to worry about cramming your thumbs in a small, small little real estate area. Um, the good thing about Windows Phone is you can click on it and easily. Uh, edit what you want to say. If I want to say Brian instead of Brown, the quick Brian Fox could do that as well. Um, Preloaded. Uh, I would check out Nokia Drive, however, it usually takes forever to preload these maps. Um, but what I can do is I could sign on to my uh, Wi Fi network and I will do that here really fast. Okay, and we are connected. Awesome. Okay, so let's see if that loads faster. Connected to Wi-Fi instead of T-Mobile's. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Uh, USA, all UK female. Mm, yeah, why not? 
Okay, we're back. How about we do it later? Let's just let's just take a look at um take a look at the Nokia drive. So as you can see it's straight navigation. You could pinch the zoom or you could use uh the uh plus or minus on the top of the zoom. There's settings you could do two D or three D. Um that's what 2D looks like. It looks like if you were going to use Google Maps or whatever. And let's see, you can do landmarks, manage maps. You could download different apps if you're going to places and download them for a later time. Um, which I thought is pretty awesome because uh, if you don't, have, if you're in a place that doesn't have, you know, service revenue, you can't download it. You could download it before you go on your trip, so you have it for later. Um, so yeah, that's a first look at the Nokia Lumia 710. Uh, it's a wonderful device for anyone starting out looking to get a Windows phone or even a smartphone in general. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And don't uh, forget to check out techhog.com or like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash techhog. This has been Doug with another unboxing and make sure you check the website out for the full review. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you subscribe.